It's Heart Failure Awareness Week, so let's talk heart health. Did you know that every five minutes, one Canadian is diagnosed with heart failure? It's a staggering number. Joining us to discuss heart failure symptoms and how they manifest in women and men is clinical fellow and advanced heart failure at the University Health Network, Dr. Mina Giwarges. Thank you so much for joining us today. So start by explaining to everyone what heart failure is. Yeah, thank you, Tracy. Well, um, the heart essentially is a muscle. Its main job is to pump oxygen-rich blood throughout the body. Mm -hmm. When somebody has heart failure, it means that the heart muscle is either too weak or too stiff to supply the blood throughout the body as necessary. Mm -hmm. When the heart muscle is too weak, that is termed heart failure with reduced ejection fraction, mm -hmm. meaning that the heart muscle is too weak to pump the blood throughout the body. Yep. And when the heart muscle is too stiff, it's called heart failure with preserved ejection fraction, which means the heart muscle is actually pumping just fine. It just has difficulty relaxing. Okay, talk to us about what causes heart failure. So there's two major classifications of heart failure. Mm -hmm. Either the heart failure is caused by blockages in the artery of the heart, yep. or they're related to the structure and electrical system of the heart. Mm -hmm. So when it's related to blockages in the heart, typically patients have a disease called coronary artery disease, or blockages in the arteries, and that can result in heart attacks and weaken the heart muscle that way. Some of the risk factors are high blood pressure, high cholesterol, diabetes. When somebody has a uh, other type of heart failure, so not related to blockages in the arteries, it could be caused by genetic factors or familial factors, exposures to different toxins uh, or drugs, mm -hmm. and um, oftentimes certain types of autoimmune diseases. Of course, uh, patients can have an overlap of both mm -hmm. the blockages in the arteries and a uh, type of heart failure that's not related to blockages in the arteries, uh, but oftentimes the manifestations of symptoms are the same. And important to impress upon is that uh, heart failure is not just a disease of the elderly. Mm -hmm. It can happen uh, to individuals at uh, any age. Okay, that is good to, to know. It's sad, but it's good to know, right? Uh, the symptoms we should be looking out for. So the typical symptoms of heart failure uh, are similar in men and women. So mm -hmm. uh, things to look out for are a change in your exercise tolerance, so shortness mm -hmm. of breath, uh, when you're walking or exercising that's different from your baseline, mm -hmm. uh, swelling in the ankles, swelling in the belly, difficulty lying flat, waking up in the middle of the night, uh, short of breath, gasping mm -hmm. for breath. Yeah, all those things means you need to investigate a little bit further. Absolutely. And it's not just me getting to like the third floor of my house and thinking I can't do any more <laughs> stairs. <laughs> exactly that. It's more, it's, it's more like, okay, but have you been able to do them in the past? Is it getting harder? How Correct. does that compare to your base, right? Correct. Um, talk to us about the treatment options for heart failure. Yeah, so we uh, typically approach treatment depending on the type of heart failure that a patient has. Mm -hmm. So uh, when it's related to the weak heart muscle, we typically have four types of medical therapies that we offer patients, and we typically titrate them uh, based on the heart rate, the blood pressure, and the symptoms that the patients experience with taking these medications. Mm -hmm. When the heart muscle is stiff, uh, we typically use two different types of medications, and again, we titrate them to the patient's symptoms, their blood pressure, their heart rate. What does and titrate mean? So it's a great question. So titrate means that we essentially uh, modify the dosing so oh. there are certain targeted dosing that we use and that's uh -huh. based on our Canadian guidelines uh, that we follow and we sort of tailor the care to each patient based on their symptoms and what their body can tolerate it's a la carte right Precisely. so you were picking you're doing a case-by-case -case basis okay got that that's right how do we prevent it I mean that's the big question are there things that we can be doing to prevent heart failure yeah, no, that's a great question, Tracy, and one that often comes up in uh, clinic when I see patients. Uh, first thing is just recognizing the symptoms, understanding what heart failure is, mm -hmm. um, and reading a little bit about it. We actually have the Heart Hub through the Ted Rogers uh, Center for Heart Research, where mm -hmm. uh, we provide a lot of information that can tell you about the things to look out for and the different treatment mod modalities if that um, is a situation that happens to you. Uh, in addition is when you get a diagnosis like high blood pressure or cholesterol or diabetes, it's important to take those seriously and work with your healthcare providers to make sure that you are treating them appropriately and taking your medications as prescribed. Mm -hmm. And eventually, if you do end up with a diagnosis of heart failure, is just closely working with your healthcare team and using different types of platforms to also help yourself. So at the University Health Network, we have a program called Medly, which is a um, software that allows patients to enter their heart rate, their blood pressure, and their weights on a daily basis mm. so that their doctors and nurses can look at their uh, values and then determine what doses of medications to 
have the patients on or provide them advice about when to present to the hospital uh, for more urgent assessment. So these kinds of things mm -hmm. uh, are the best ways to try to help yourself both prevent and then manage the disease. Really good information there, doctor. Thank you so much for that. For more information on heart failure and the wonderful work being done by the Ted Rogers Center for Heart Research, scan the QR code on your screen or check out our website, cityline.tv, for all of that information.